and then just type in the one important uh, thing which is like Samsung USB drivers so just click enter <clears throat> then um, there are many choices and for example you will you are able to you know to select so uh, let's head into this website which is could be very informative and um, yes definitely this site has a uh, good uh, good drivers but <clears throat> anyway you can also install from different websites for example this one is definitely it has very good um, you can see download samsung usb drivers for all models so you can just find in your device like ctrl f and then galaxy uh, or just s7 edge and then just click download and then you will be able to download <clears throat> here is some tutorial how to install the drivers then you just click on the link and also you can uh, download Samsung audio downloader and just download here begin download and the download will begin in so the file is really doesn't wait too much just open it and once you open it so you will just extract all the files and proceed to installation so anyway um yeah you can see it's just extracting and then you just make installation so next thing i will just uh, cancel that since i i have the drivers so today i'm gonna show you um the best way to download so you heading to some mobiles some mobile and then you just can click for firmware directly then type in your device, for example, Galaxy S6 Edge. Then just select your own model. Click here. And then based on your country, also on your career, you will be able to select and choose the best firmware. And you can see the version number here. Also date when it was just put in and then you will just click on here and of course you will have to log in before you can proceed any download so we'll have to register to this um, website <clears throat> just join for free and you put you put all the credential here here's some full morale for modularity which doesn't take too long and anyway once you will be like uh, let's okay we'll just log in which doesn't require any <clears throat> more information so just click for regular download and the speed will not be 15 kilobytes per second it will be definitely around even 300 kilobytes per second so you just proceed with the download then you wait for a few seconds and then just click for download so let's just wait <clears throat> and here the download begins so just click download and soon the new yeah you can see that it appeared this is the oops, the link so this will be a file that you will have to put into Odin software application so okay let's just cancel that download so okay since I have and uh, this I will be testing on my very old device Galaxy S4 which is really nice so first you will have to do this uh, Fully functional phone. Ok, 
Okay, so just you will have to power off the device. Just power it off. <clears throat> the next step, once the you know the it's completely powered off, so you will have to click on the power down home button and uh, I mean uh, volume down home button and power button. So I'm just do it. Okay. Okay, now we can see that it's a download mode. So you will have to click volume up, which will continue. You can see this one. It's a downloading, do not turn off device, but never mind if you just turn it off by accident now because it will nothing change. So you will have to, you know, put a USB cable onto your device. Now let's um, also we have to download Odin. Okay, so just type in like Odin download. Okay, so you have option like go to here and uh, download the latest one, Odin 3.12, okay. And just go to direct link for latest Samsung. Okay, but uh, for me it's better to download Samsung model. Okay, also can extract it. Anyway, I already have extracted it, this my desktop so you will have to open it with the clicking on the right side run as administrator then just click yes and then you can see that device has been added I can also like put it off then you just see removed but it must be added great now what we have to do, there are some tips how to download home binary. Wow, cool. Okay, so next next step, you just click AP. To show again it was maybe too fast, so click for AP. <clears throat> Simply. And then you will have to find the firm firmware that you downloaded directly from from the website and uh, you will have to extract the you will have to open the file and then extract it so you can just basically just drag it into desktop well it doesn't take long since it will be just extracted Okay, and uh, when it comes to an end, we can see that the file appeared on the desktop. So just click on the Odin again. We see the device has been added. And guys, do not worry too much. It's not so, you know, tough, hard to do. You know, you just click on the file and you will have to patiently wait. Because this takes also we can see that the Odin might not be responding for some moment. It can take from one minute to a few minutes. It depends on your PC on a computer how fast it calculates and um, you know it works. So just wait. Okay now so you can see that some changes on the lock. Also you can see that it has been added, you can see the full name. Also you can see the binary size, the space it has. And the next step is very easy, just click for start. So let's do that. Okay. Oh, we have many, many, many writing here. So you can see that the download is proceeding. Yeah, some it shows some process on the device as well. I can see that uh, this line will be changing, maybe not so fast, and it will take some time. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna take you know 
show you everything here because it might take from like few minutes to maybe 10 minutes or even longer so just stay tuned also guys do not forget uh, I mean I have one video with Samsung Galaxy S 6 Edge where I had a failure so I in I had also filmed a tutorial how to fix that so don't do not I mean do not panic never you can also if you have a heartbreak at the boot loop so you can always change that and you can fix that so guys I forgot to show uh, I mean to inform you that you will have to click on the USB debugging so uh, you will have I uh, will show you later how to do that so once again I'm really sorry that I didn't show you so for example for example in this phone you just go to about phone and then you are searching for baseband version and just click for many times I'm sorry no not this one build number yeah so you will now have enabled development settings just go back and click for developers options and here here it is Android debugging so um, just click that tick allow USB debugging and of course this is intended for development purposes only so yes use that click OK simply and it's done and then you'll be able to proceed with that can see that not so many left okay we see some changes and the lock is also changing so probably we are getting to the end but of course it might be a fail but it also might be a pass for pass you will see that okay reset so oh it's pass so it's up working but anyway <clears throat> there is one important uh, file which is called hidden image you can see here also recovery but in this case hidden image it this is the file that really I mean uh, it's um, for example if you have fail so we will just can uh, get it get it out from the file just put it into desktop and rename it to uh, as I remember if correctly because I made it in tutorial like like hidden image and then um, zip I think or MD for a uh, five yeah and then you'll just uh, in that situation you will just put it into AP and then you will see pass so it will be working okay so we have our device working so we'll see very soon since it's pass you can just uh, untick the device and also can see that the uh, succeeded one all threads completed so it's cool so let's just remove that great Well, it takes some time. So maybe I will just make a pause. Just for your attention, I will show the time. Okay, it finished, you know, when... So it's totally the same. Looks like nothing changed, but I don't think that I see one. Yep, I don't see two applications. In fact, before because before this video you probably saw a root, king root. I think there was also super user, but now nothing is left. So I just removed root. Okay, so we have 
base band so this is the newest one okay so anyway it's great so well thank you for watching and um, i hope you enjoyed and uh, you like this video so don't forget to like share to media and subscribe to my channel